Hello, everyone, and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Tuesday, June 15, 2022. It's just short of 11 a.m. Central Time. This is a rare um, YouTube video during the day, and we want to get this out, show you guys what we put out to our monthly subscribers all the time before the news events, which obviously the Fed decision and... Um, press conference afterward are the news but uh, we'll show you the wave count which comes before the news anyway we'll get right to it I want to touch base with the uh, cues if I can here real quick there is our uh, chart let me scrunch that down and you can see we got a one with a circle in red a two a three the four make or break held okay below that um, level there and it looks like five down is in progress and you can see that's where three was it was right on target let me move that over there there we go that's the three 280 and this five is 223 as long as that holds 223 is the target this is live let's go to the u.s 10 year um we've been saying for a couple years how important this is way back here to the end of the 39 year bear market interest rates and it's made a ridiculous move up um, we have a target here for wave five with a circle on it. You can see here's one up, two down, three up, four down, five equals, um, I don't know what that target is there, but it's at 1.434. There's a dark line there because there's a couple of, uh, of extensions that hit that target within this wave five. You can see a one, two, and that's off a little bit. That one should be over here. One, two, three, four. 5 equals 1 on the smaller degree of trend at 3.576, but we have a couple of them at 1.434%. Once this 5 waves up is complete, it will retrace Fibonacci. We'll wait till it's complete. Let's get straight into the uh, E-mini futures. Here we're looking at an hourly bar. A lot of lines on here, but I want to show you guys. Uh, we had that uh, B wave up there, and then the red is a preferred count. We've got one down two up and three is in progress okay alternate count shows a truncated fifth there's the uh, dates in purple I have this in um, in a pick so it'll be uh, it'll be a little cleaner to see but you can see here within wave three with the parentheses we've got a one down a two up a three down a four up and our five targets are here 3789 which has been achieved and 3730 which has been Let's set low, 37.08. Yeah, I think we had another one. Yeah, let me get to it here. Yeah, the 4.618 at 36.71. Okay, the larger wave three, again, if there's too many lines, uh, I'll have a cleaner pick. There's one down. There's two up. These three targets are over here. I'll bring them up here. Let me get this a little bit bigger. Okay, we had 38.21 which is a 2.618 and 3690, which is the next one. We're getting close to that. Let me see if I have that uh, pick here with those targets. Here we go. Here we are here. Here's the one down, two up, and the break of the 3807 low, the A wave low, verify that wave C down is in play. Okay, so there's A down from the all-time high. There is B up, and here we have one down, two up, there's the three targets there. Okay, there's the 3690. Within this wave three, you've got a one down, two up, three. Again, this three hit a 3.618. So we may expect this three, a larger degree of trend, to hit the 3.618 target. Okay, but within that one, two, three, four, five down, there's a 2.618 at 3789. There's the 3.618, and there's the 4.618. You can see over here we got the... 37.30. It's very close to the 3.618. Okay, one or both of these targets may be hit today. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's get down and get a little closer here with a 10-minute. Okay, here's that um, that uh, 3807 high. Let me get it right up in here. Okay, and from there, that was on the 14th, which was yesterday. This is a 10-minute chart. We've got a one down, a two up, a three down, a four up to complete the larger wave one. Right now, we have a three-wave pattern to the upside. A in black, B and C. C equals A. 
Here's our wave two targets, as you can see here. Two cannot retrace more than 100% of one, so 380750 is the make or break. The real key is 3764. That's this high here. As it stands now, in black, it's a three-wave pattern, okay, a corrective upward pattern. And if it breaks below this, and it's, it hit right on it earlier this morning, then that looks complete, and we're going to look for the next wave down, okay? If not, then this alternate comes in where that's a 1, that's a 2, that's a 3, and again, 37.64 is the make or break for 4. It did go, I think, a, a 0.25 of a point below it this morning. That may be allowed on a very short term, okay? But uh, we have, um, can I get to the one minute on that? Let me see if I have that and I can show you where we're at. There it is right there. Let me move this out of the way, move this out of the way, okay? There's that one minute. You can see that went um, a quarter point below, okay? So there is from that high back there at 37.98, which is, let me make sure I got it right there, 37.97.75, okay? So we're looking at from here. Let's get back to that one minute. Here you can see we got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got a correction up. There's our correction targets, okay? And if that is an impulse wave down, then we would expect that low to be broken significantly. This would be a 1 down and a 2 up and then a 3 down. Of course, this is in progress. This is live here. It's going toward the 500. It's just a couple minutes after 11 a.m. Central now. Let me see what I have here for you guys for picks. I think I showed you that one. Okay, that's review. Let me show you guys this one. There is that uh, make or break. Okay, and let me see what we have here. Just go through them all. There's our targets for this three of a larger degree, this five of a smaller degree, this five completion will complete this three. Okay, so it's going to be one of these targets here. We'll see how that plays out. And then let's see if we have this. Here it is. That's the last one. That's where we are now. It's not live. It's obviously a pick, but we've got both counts there. 37.64 is key. This thing goes to a new high above this 37.97.75. Then it becomes five waves. Once it does, after five waves up, you get a three-wave correction. So even if this goes up very near-term or short-term, we'll look for a three-wave correction. We cannot calculate until or unless it goes above there, which it hasn't yet. Okay, so it should be exciting times. Uh, our subscribers are ready for anything, and you guys are ready for anything right now. So a rare in, in market, during the market, midday YouTube update. So you guys are up to date. Thank you again, and until next time, take care, everyone.